What is up, you horn nerds? It is me, your host once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Welcome back to the channel. Again, a lot of times I do this to help you. I want you to not waste your money, waste your time. Let me waste my money. Let people give me DVDs, send me DVDs, give me um, suggestions, and let me let you know what's trash and what's good. Today's one is probably... It's funny, it's uh, actually an anthology of several movies, and all of them combined are the absolute worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Never before on my channel have I given a zero. This is a zero. Do not waste your time. It is freaking awful. Um, it's a complete letdown, a complete trash. Um, I've got this at a um, horror convention where I had a booth set up selling some t-shirts and stuff that I print, but I'm talking about campy horror. So this here, four movies over six hours. I, If you know me, you know I love underground. You know I love bad movies. You know that some bad movies I give good reviews to because they're fun. They're a blast. Not so much here. If you haven't heard of this little anthology, let me tell you about it. If you like low-budget movies with cheesy effects, offensive humor, and huge amounts of nudity, then you might love this collection of campy horror. This anthology contains, there's four movies. We'll talk about them in a minute. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's literally filmed pretty much with a camcorder and it's just an excuse for a man to hire women and fondle their breast because that is literally in every single movie and for no reason. He's like act, saying he's going to act out the film. There's only one of these four movies Actually, the the trailers that are on here had more kills in them than those four movies combined. Um, there's only one movie of those four that actually have kills. So while calling it campy horror is probably the dumbest thing in the world. They aren't even horror movies. They're not scary. Um, so the movies that are on here, you have Ass Monster, the director's cut, tw 2006 release. Um, it's literally a movie about a guy making a movie that he's into women's butts and it's about ass there was no killing there was nothing scary nothing jumped out it was literally that um you have ant farm dick hole the director's cut that one was released in 2011 that one does have a kill scene there's an army of ants living inside of a person's body you can figure out where um you have indie director the longer cut Lo and behold, it is another movie about a guy making a movie and these two directors kind of battling at it. Um, who has the best indie movie? And it's just only about women being naked. And lastly, you have Exploitation, the normal cut. And yes, you guessed it. This is another one about a guy making a movie about some woman that has a weird fetish. But there is nothing horror on here. There, This is... All of them, I think, were under a 4K budget, and I think over $2,000 of that was spent on women. It is awful. Awful, awful. Don't waste it. Zero out of ten can't be horror. If you've seen any of these movies from um, Bill, Bill Zebub or any of the, this production company, Bill Zebub Productions, you know what you're getting into now. It's awful. There was a cameo from a dude from Cannibal Corpse, Corpse Grinder, which was kind of cool. That's about it. Literally, that is the only notable thing on here. If you've seen them, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you liked them, why you liked them. Like, subscribe, hit the death bell for notifications. i got more coming to you daily. Appreciate you.